Peace be to you all. Assalamu alaikum. This is Omar Abdul Malik, physician assistant slash associate and health educator. So today I want to talk about uh, gun violence as a health care issue again. <laughs> um, if you've been following the news, you see that the uh, CDC has uh, made it a priority again <laughs> with a bunch of other things that they've made a priority and they've committed money a lot of money to study gun violence which always I find always kind of weird because um, I, I live in Washington DC and I've worked here I've been here for most of my 50 something years all right look at this deer but I um there he goes. I, I thought that the violence was going to get better. And I've been here, I've been in Washington, D.C. Um, since the Marion Berry administration. Then there was the Sharon Pratt Kelly administration. Then the Tony Williams, Anthony Williams administration. Then the Phil Fenty administration. Now there is the Mario Bowser administration and one of the things that's always been um, confounding to all of these mayors has been the issue of violence gun violence in particular black on black violence and I know that there's uh, somebody's gonna say yeah but these white boys these are the ones that are doing the mass shooting you know what they're Assault rifles. I don't live among those guys. Not saying that they couldn't come to DC and shoot, but I, I live <laughs> among black folks. I'm a black man. I've got four kids, um, one young, uh, two are young adults, and uh, two are teens. So, yeah, three young men and, uh, and, a, and a, a young lady. So, I worry about them being the, the victims of this violence. If they look like somebody with whom a, a gangbanger or whoever had a beef, or, you know, if they were standing in, in somebody's vicinity, you know, a lot of these shootings, it's not even the intended victim. Um, last week, right a few blocks from where I live, there was a shooting. One of the victims was a young sister who was uh, a mother and she worked at MedStar Washington Hospital Center. And she's dead. You know, there was another shooting yesterday on Benning Road, in an area where I work. You know, there's almost always a shooting every week on Martin Luther King Avenue and Malcolm X Boulevard. <laughs> and, Incidentally, my wife is from South Central LA. They got a whole another level of uh, black on black violence. And there's always shootings on MLK and Malcolm X Boulevard. Unfortunately. I don't know what to do anymore. You know, I did my, my PA medical training at Howard University Hospital and um, DC General Hospital, which is now a uh, luxury townhomes. <laughs> Um, well, this was more than 20 years ago, and I really thought that the issue was going to get better. But it's gotten worse, and it seems like the, the guys that are engaged in the violence have gotten younger, even. You know, it's not uncommon to hear young teens, you know, 13, 14-year-olders, you know, where they're getting, you know, they learn how to drive, so they steal somebody's car. My neighbor found somebody had parked their car in his garage, his open garage, and it was all shot up. Yeah, so he called the police. He said, this is not my car. I don't know who put this here. So these guys are, in some cases, they're stealing cars, doing their drive-by, and uh, getting away, literally getting away with murder. Some get caught, but many don't. And yeah, I, I don't know what the solution is. There's a lot of political, 
politicalization, <laughs> if that's even a word, of this issue. You got the NRA and then, you know, folks who are against, you know, for stricter gun control. Everybody fighting. A lot of these folks don't live in the urban areas and in the inner city areas where the uh, gun violence is the most prevalent. And quite frankly, I don't think, I don't, I, in my opinion, I could be wrong, but in my opinion, um, having stricter gun laws isn't really the answer. I mean, how much are you going to screen somebody? Are you going to screen them for, for mental health issues? And if they say yes on whatever form they're filling out, do you deny them? Somebody says they're bipolar and they got depression. Are you going to deny them um, buying a gun and purchasing a gun? Say, oh, wait, you might commit suicide. Or you might go off and do a mass shooting. <laughs> you know, if they're a particular race. Do you, do you deny, or from a particular area code, <laughs> do you deny that person... Um, the ability to purchase a gun. So wait a minute. You're some colored guy from a high crime area. I know you're not up to any good. What do you got to do with this gun? You know, where do you draw the line? You know, and that's one of our our rights as Americans to own guns. Uh, I, I remember, for those of you guys that are old enough to remember, I think it was about 20 years ago, maybe a little longer, where they were, uh, they being um, some mayors uh, and I think uh, Congress people had this um, gun buyback program. They did it here in D.C. And they were buying people's guns. You know, yes, bring your gun in. You know, we won't ask any questions and we'll give you money for it. Oh, people, you know, there was a pile of guns, piles of guns. And people were getting cash for it. But it didn't stop the violence. Not significantly. So I mean, that didn't even work. <laughs> you know, it, it's, you know, there's, there's the saying that we all know about, you know, guns don't kill people. People with guns kill people. <laughs> and that's true. I mean, because we've had, believe it or not, there's been multiple stabbings. I happened upon a, a triple stabbing on a Martin Luther King Avenue in Southeast on my way home. And I, I, I was like, wow, it's so people are using kitchen knives to you know, kill people, multiple victims. So, I mean, where, where does it stop? You could, you could, uh, you can only regulate things so much. You can only try within certain laws to force people to behave in a manner in which you provided that you're one of the uh, people in power think they should behave you know there's there are things that were done with smoking you know you we're gonna tax cigarettes didn't stop people from smoking you know I think putting taxes on guns isn't gonna stop people from shooting each other you know it's, it's the law-abiding citizens are gonna do you know they're gonna get guns to uh you know, through, through legal means, in most cases, presumably. But, you know, the folks who are going around shooting people, you know, they're going to they're gonna get their guns however they can. They're going to steal them. They're going to, you know, purchase unlicensed handguns. I don't think it can be stopped. Um, you lock the people up. A lot of the guys have got... That's just bragging rights for them. Yeah, you, know, you give somebody a... 20 year sentence for murder you know they only serve 10 you know if it's a young person in their late teens or let's say they're 20 they come out when they're in their late 20s or, or early 30s it's still a young person then they got street creds and they're bragging I've talked to some of these guys yeah man I put, a, put it in work you feel me that's how we do it you don't know nothing about that <laughs> yeah it, it, it's a really sad state of affairs and I I think a lot of it has to do with our culture. Us, I would say black folks culture in particular in the inner city. And you can call me an Uncle Tom or House Negro if you want. But I would also invite you to come help me take care of the folks who have been made into paraplegics and quadriplegics. Uh, have had brain damage from 
bullets through the head, you know. A lot of mothers who are depressed because their kids have been killed right in front of them. You know, it's a tough thing to have to console parents and tell them that their kid didn't make it. Uh, but anyway, I'm open to suggestions. What do some of you all think can be done about this gun violence? I know, I know mental health is a big issue, but I also think there's an accountability issue as well. I look forward to your comments. Please don't troll me. I'll delete you immediately. <laughs> but I wish you guys the best of success in your positive endeavors. Peace.